First of all, how did you feel when you found out you'd won this Barclays Community Sports Award last season? It was amazing. I came back from holiday, I found out I won the award. And it was just like an amazing feeling. It didn't actually kick in until I actually like, went onto the website, typed my own name in, and then checked. I was just, it was just, words can't describe it. Who nominated you then and why? Um, well, Fisher Rangers nominated me because I've started playing football with girls my age. And then later on, um, we did that for a few months. And then there was a few other volunteers who've done their level one coaching and their community sports award. And then the Younger Girls Academy, I set that up. And then from there, we've done the women and all sorts. And hopefully they'll progress to like make leagues and join to them. Just tell us a, a bit of the background about Fishwick Rangers then. Fishwick Rangers is a youth development scheme set up since 2001. And the aim of the organisation was to give young people the opportunity, especially from deprived areas. And we think football is a main vehicle to drive young people off the streets into structured uh, gameplay. And when you got the, the season award overall, when Barclays chose you above everyone else who'd won the monthly nominations, how special a feeling was that for you? That was just wow, especially like knowing that I'm going to go meet Gareth Southgate and then going to London. It was just a feeling that no, you can't even describe it. Like especially after like me winning the seasonal award, it's like okay, monthly awards one different thing, but the seasonal award. Like I checked up on like all the different winners, and then it's like how did I manage to win that? It was just an amazing thing that happened to me. So how proud are you, are you of Ribeira and what she's done for the community? An individual at the age of 15 give, give up eight hours a week for the past two years, which is quite amazing in itself. And for her, she's got a great, a great passion for football. And she's on my case, how come you're always delivering for the boys and not for the girls, especially on the footballing element. So we decided that, OK, you give me your time. And I said, oh, I've got a bit of funding in to run a six-week pilot on girls' football. So we've got an indoor venue. And I turned around and I said, the whole project lies with you now. You've got to recruit the young people. You've got to do, oh, you've got to do the uh, training and everything yourself. I she said, did that, which was fantastic. I dropped in a couple of sessions and I thought, wow, this is quite amazing. And that's come from a young person who sat on the set say, on a dinner saying, I want to do something for the community. And obviously, you're a big Liverpool fan. Ruby. Yeah. How long have you been supporting the Reds? Since I was a young kid, I was watching football and then I was just supporting Liverpool. I had my Liverpool top since I was like five and I'm just a top Liverpool supporter and now meeting Kenny Daglish, it's just amazing. And then you were given a tour of Melwood, what was that like for you? That was cool because I, I went to go see the pitches and then like the training boots and how they get trained and explain fully about everything. So it's a once in a lifetime opportunity.